After finishing the previous season with a record of 14 and 10, Ole Miss women's tennis head coach Mark Byers enters his 14th season with the Lady Netters and has his team poised for a special season. It was a great fall. I mean, we had uh, uh, Julia Jones just, you know, not really coming out of nowhere, but kind of after her uh, her injury this summer, had a tremendous fall. I had two weeks of practice on the court before our regional tournament, so I kind of just went into that tournament with nothing to lose, and I ended up playing unbelievable and winning that tournament. I think that's why I did so well. I think it went really well. I mean, if you look at all the tournaments, we had someone in the finals of everyone, if not winning the tournament. So. I think that was pretty good and we all worked really hard in practice. At the start of spring, uh, we, we decided to go to, uh, to Hawaii, uh, get some amazing practices in, uh, a lot of outdoor tennis, it's a great team bonding experience, and then we played two dual matches. We got to you know do a lot of fun stuff besides just play tennis. We got to hike a volcano, we saw Pearl Harbor, which I've always wanted to go see that. Everybody was in a good mood and I think that was like perfect to get like a team bonding spirit. And so we did well in the, in the matches. We got two wins, you know, two and oh, but we were able to have some, some fun. And so from a team bonding standpoint, from a standpoint of, of being able to get to know each other a little bit better, it was, it was fantastic. After a successful start to the spring in paradise, the Lady Rebels returned for their first home match on the most beautiful campus in America. The Jackson State, you know, is a doubleheader, but I feel like we all played really well and, um, just took care of business. And we were able to, to, to get some, some quick wins, but at the same time, it's still, you, you, know, you want to make sure that you go 2-0. And, oh. and the thing that I talked to the girls about, I kind of challenged them, that we didn't want to just get the wins, we wanted to make sure that we got better. Coach always talks about, you know, no matter who you're playing, if you're going to win really easy, you know, try to do something that's going to help improve your game. All right, hey, we talked about yesterday, we want to use every single opportunity to get better. Whether it's an indoor match, outdoor match, Top 10 team, not top 10 team. Get established right away that we're going to be the aggressor on the court. It's going to be on your racket. Yeah, with these no ad points, let's make sure we talk about who's going to take those. Yeah, but quick starts. Yeah, and every single match, an opportunity to get better. Okay? Turn on that second, accelerate. Here we go. Hey, great positioning there, Z. Go, ladies. Here we go, reps. Good hands, guys. Way to work. Hey, remember we talked about earlier, like, we want to win, but we want to get better. Like you guys were like, like the move, the movement was crisp, was quick. You know, we were aggressive. It was good. I was a little bit nervous going into it because it was my first home match of the season. Um, but I think I definitely improved nerves-wise. Kind of got that first match out of the way. This team just feels good, and everybody feels good to be together. And so it's exciting to play, and it just gave, gave us a little taste for what's coming up. Everyone has a different personality and everyone brings something different to the table. So it's fun to hang around those girls and learn about them and you know what they like and their personality. So it's a great mixture of really great girls. Chip is actually Maria, but she has chipmunk-like tendencies, so we call her Chip. Chipmunk tendencies. And she likes chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Which we probably shouldn't say, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, except she's on this thing where she, like, doesn't eat cookies, so she just eats brownies instead. And no. she eats Oreos. You see how bad my pictures are? Because you have to be focused. Like, this is focused, and then you just... No, <laughs> That thing is so heavy. The way I usually look at it is you've got three three parts in the season. You've got the the, uh, the early season matches, then you've got the SEC, and then you've got postseason. So we're still in that first part right now, but these next two weeks are going to be are going to be you know pivotal. I think we've got the the talent level to uh, to get you know to that top ten, and so we'll find out in the next couple of weeks. I'm really looking forward to it because I feel like this year more than any other year we're really focused on you know winning a national championship, and I think that everyone on the team um, sort of believes that more. And um, we've really been focusing on staying disciplined and um, doing the best that we can, but also having control over certain situations and um, just staying positive. I'm very excited. We worked hard, I worked hard, and um, I, think, I think we can do really well this season, so I'm very excited. You know, if you're looking at the next couple of weeks, we've got Texas Tech, we've got Rice, and you see you got three you know, teams that was RPI is you know between 18 and 30, and so 
Um, you know, we're going to need to play better in order to, to be successful against those teams. But from everything I've seen up to now, uh, I'm extremely excited and looking forward to those challenges.